Reliance, in a joint venture with the 3.6 billion euros Dassault Aviation, will start making the business jet Falcon from January 2018 at the Dassault Reliance Aviation Limited (DRAL) facility in Man, Nagpur, and the first Falcon is expected to fly out of Man as early as 2022 for the global markets. Falcons play in the wide cabin, long-range aircraft segment as they can fly distances between 6,000 to 12,000 kilometers, covering a range of travel needs. Confirming the development, Rajesh Dingra, CEO, Reliance Defense told the Hindu, we will start with assembly in January 2018. The nose, cockpit and doors will be done here in the next two years. Initially, Wings will come from outside and the entire body will be assembled here. Flight testing will start in the fourth year and the locally made Falcon will be ready for flying out of Mean in the fifth year, say by 2022. The company expects to make 20 Falcons a year, with 2,500 Falcons delivered in the last 50 years of which 2,100 Falcons are operational in 80 countries. A Falcon 2000 S costs $30 million $40 million while the Falcon 8X costs upwards of $60 million. The company expects revenues of 800 crore euro year from the venture. India has plans to float separate tender for IAF's twin-engine fighter jet requirement and Dingra believes that this will give Rafale fighter jets edge because Dral already has facility ready to manufacture them and deliver the first aircraft in three years while competitors will require three years to set up the manufacturing unit and another three years to start delivering the first aircraft. The manufacturer said it should give birth to an ecosystem of more than 200 micro, small and medium enterprises which will meet the needs of manufacturing parts and components for Rafale and Falcon. Wings, undercarriage and more parts of Rafales at India, moving towards final assembling of Rafale at India with engine, radar, U systems and other parts from India only. French has offered a lot under the Tejas program including every part of the plane that is imported as of date. These parts are to be made in Drawl, Bell. Saffron India and supports the ecosystem by emulgating present LCA ecosystem withdrawal under development MIC. The takeaway is of course that everything offered is combined developed for current and future part. Based on NSA Doval initiative beyond the 36 refail next set, discussion are more into a joint pact for MIC and India refail and a scope of AMCA collaboration. Air Force will be happy if we can replicate or fail sensor package for AMCA, said a serving senior IAF official. A platform jointly developed for both France and India incorporating evolutionary aspects of Rafale NG and Indian AMCA. This is contingent on LCA MK1A slash B slash X success based on new MIC plan. Another point being new saffronized cavalry has passed semi-cold start test and further points are being tested. With LCA systems potentially now with proposed French solutions, Israelis have realized that the price hike in confirmed 200 plus 2052 radar orders is now up in dust completely. And so also WVR and BVR missiles tango with it. Many things have changed rapidly in last two weeks, DM Florence Parley had conveyed that France will officially support India in its anti-China build-up. In this regard, the military pact is further enhanced with access to all technology from France without any restrictions including nuclear tech. It is now official from French side that France will join India, Israel, Japan, USA, Australia Group. Also the fleet of Navy will now do joint ops as and when required. In return, France seeks to deepen all types of strategic relationship with India in order to ensure both nations stand together for every geopolitical challenge of today and coming tomorrow. Architect of this whole dialogue, decision and deal-making is NSA Doval. The biggest first change has come from Indian Navy and has recommended France as a partner for Rafale program under MRCBF and beyond. The MRCBF offer from France included giving a training squadron on lease right now itself for shore base test facility. Officially the Rafale M wing dip is now getting tested with a mechanism to disintegrate in 5 minutes and fit into 10 meters span and reattaching the same in max 15 minutes with another 5 minutes for a full system check. These planes will not be changed at all including whatever customization they had engraved for enroll except absence of the delivery system. 
Indian Navy has also recommended a joint development role for India and France for Rafale program in its report. And has recommended this joint development program rather than outright lease to incorporate certain tech advancements further to IF customizations leading to more evolved version of F4-4.2. And wants such standard planes from Dral India under Monli. And has also recommended suitable studies for basically either complete replacement of older air wings or mixing them up with more potent Rafale AMs to boost their area of operation, roles and responsibilities. And has also officially endorsed and recommended France for technology participation and active role of naval group in des ultra fail air wing for all its aircraft carrier, present and future. This means the new aircraft carrier from India will have French elements instead of American ones since those are a bit on the heavier side and is costly with operational issues. This carrier option of IMLS might come from USA if IMLS power surge and maturity of systems can be augmented by the naval group from operational stability perspectives. The Rafale M was already a strong contender for an and pairing it with this makes it a fecal choice number one. That means first preference of and for IAC to a Kitabar design with a scope for a hybrid runway, is not IMLS, if certified by naval group then it will be looked as a solution. The French agreement involves scope for twin nuclear reactors to power the carrier. This new carrier will have many elements of proposed carrier program of France, as of now frozen but revival plan is underway with Pres Macron looking into it actively. Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lumbra has began a six-day visit to France to explore new avenues of cooperation between the armed forces of the two countries. Admiral Lundra will meet French Defense Minister Florence Parley and will hold talks with Chief of Defense Staff General Francois Lacointe and Chief of French Navy Admiral Christophe Brazuc. Admiral Lundra, during his November 5-10 visit, will also visit the French airbase at Landivisi where he will be briefed on the operational employability of the Rafale aircraft by the French Air Force.